Today we're going to be talking about the Veritas combination plane. A very useful plane. So there are a lot of moving parts on this plane so let's just dive right in. This is the right hand shoe. It contains the blade holder, it contains the two main arms where the left shoe and the fence go on to, and it contains the right hand knicker and the tote. So on this side we have the locking screw for the forward rail, a locking screw for the rear rail. This little screw adjusts the sideways depth of the blade and what you need to do is adjust it so that the edge of the blade when it's in there extends just barely outward past the shoe. This is the right hand depth skate. It is adjusted by this knob and locked in place by this knob. This is the knicker. It is currently in the upward position. If you are doing long grain work, you want to make sure that you have the knicker retracted. If you're doing cross grain work, then you want the knicker extended, but only very, very little, maybe a millimeter, sixteenth of an inch. The knicker is adjusted by this little Allen key allows the blade to move up and down and this little allen key adjusts the position of the knicker either outwards or allows it to come inward so that's the right hand shoe the blade simply drops in and hooks into this registration on the adjuster, depth adjuster. This is a bevel down arrangement. So we drop the blade in and then we tighten down the blade holder. Then we can turn it over and check the depth, well the, the width offset of the blade. As you can see, there is the teeniest edge of the blade showing beyond the edge of the shoe. So that is a good adjustment. So we don't need to adjust this screw. It's good. Now we can put on the left shoe. The left shoe is essentially the same. It's got a brass screw here for setting the width of the shoe. These two screws lock it onto the rails and this screw pair sets the depth shoe. And there's our knicker in the up position. And again, the adjusters are on the inside. This small one for the depth and this one for the extension, the, whether it kicks out from the shoe. Okay, it just drops on pretty easily. We want to adjust the depth of the tool of the shoe so that the blade sticks out a hair. You want the blade wider than the shoe. So once you get to that point, then you just lock it down with these rail screws. Now this is basically ready to be used. We can set the depth adjustment to whatever we need and for today's demonstration we're going to set it at a half inch. So 
So we loosen the screw and we adjust it till we have power. half inch and we lock it down flip it over do the same for the other shoe now we can set the blade depth so that we are just taking a shaving so we have here can feel that it's just grabbing on the bottom and you can see it is sticking out the teeniest little bit. Now we can set up our fence. Okay, the fence can be set very much over top of the blade. It will go some distance over. And there is a little bit of clearance there that allows it to clear the teeniest bit of blade extension. And there's enough rail that you can have it a reasonable distance in from the edge of a board. So for example, that's a half inch. But you can get extended rails, longer ones, which we have right here. And you can get longer ones again, one size longer than that. For today's purpose, we want our fence to be right at the edge because we're doing today an edge rabbit for a little shop project. Okay, there it is now completely set up. When you use the plane, we'll get into that in a moment. This is the handle for guiding the plane. And what you want to do is just gently hold that and allow yourself to gently apply pressure just enough to keep the fence against the work. And then you apply light, even pressure with the tote. Extend. Okay. And we want to take a fairly aggressive shaving. All right, that's pretty good. So we start by working the end of your groove first. So you start at the far end and you just let the plane take a bit. And as you work that and it gets down, then you can back along your path until you are taking a shaving down the entire groove. As you can see, you can take a pretty aggressive shaving and get a full length, beautiful curl, no problem. <laughs> 